The subject of men with beards was not actually my idea. I didn't come up with it. I was actually asked by uh, a colleague at Oxford University about um, iconography and uh, beards, who had them, who didn't. And I just, quite frankly, had never thought about it before. So, about uh, 11 years ago, we, we made the first page for uh, Men With Beards on the horror website. And uh, we, we had to really divide up between the different subjects, such as the, the elders, the 16 elders. Um, some of those figures have beards. Um, in, in king appearance of, of the 11 uh, figurative uh, appearances or forms in Himalayan art, kings um, generally have some type of mustache or beard or goatee, and that's part of the definition of king appearance. Now, for Siddha appearance, uh, that again is part of the definition, to have some kind of facial hair or, or five o'clock shadow or a disheveled look of some kind. <clears throat> then we have deities with beards, um, and uh, wrathful deities, uh, again, it is a matter of um, part of the definition, uh, the description of uh, wrathful deities, occasionally with semi-peaceful and semi-wrathful deities as well. Uh, th that's kind of it for, for the main categories of um, what, what would be um, sort of deities and, um, and really uh, mythological uh, type uh, figures. Now, for the historical figures uh, with beards, then we have, we have a few of them that are quite famous. Some of them that show up in art, mostly sculpture and painting, they're not as famous, but we do have art for them and we have names to go with them. But I'll try and go through just the, the uh, most famous ones uh, that we, we see all the time in art. So really we have to say Padmasambhava is, is the first because Padmasambhava in his basic form has king appearance. And again, part of king appearance is there should be a mustache uh, uh, and, a, and a, at least a mustache and a small uh, goatee on the chin or under the lower lip. Um, so Padmasambhava is probably the most common. I guess the second most common would be the fifth Dalai Lama, Ngawang Lobsang Jatso. And he also is famous for having this, uh, this uh, kind of wispy mustache and a goatee uh, on the chin. Then we have Karmapakshi. Karmapakshi also has the same mustache and goatee and Generally, he's regarded as the only Karmapa to ever have a, a, a goatee or a beard. We can't say that he's the only one to have a mustache, but we can definitely say he's the only one to ever have a, a goatee or beard. Um, Tong Tong Gyalpo is quite famous. Uh, lived in the uh, 15th century, early uh, 16th. And uh, he's famous for having a, a quite a large, full white beard. So really, we have a number of, of gentlemen, of, of religious uh, teachers, that have a, a large, full beard, uh, white in color. And that's uh, Tong Tong Gyalpo, uh, Terdok Lingpa, Girme Dorje, uh, Jong Chub Tsemo, uh, Bodong Penchen Chokle Namgyal, and then Tartse Penchen Namkachime. Uh, I know these the names are a bit jargonish, uh, yes, uh, but on the website we do have uh, links to images for all of these, and uh, it, it's it's just a, a curious subject. Um, it's important for the historical figures to understand who has beards, who has mustaches, because uh, for the for the named figures just now, uh, that is part of their iconography. That is how they are depicted in sculpture and uh, painting. So it's important to know uh, what their appearance is and what their attributes are. For deities, it's important to know what the attribute is. Is it a vajra? Is it a sword? Is is it a stupa? Uh, but for historical people, we need to also know whether or not they had a, a uh, a mustache, a goatee, or a full white beard, because that is an attribute of their uh, appearance. So it's quite important in that regard. 
Now, uh, please don't forget to uh, press the like button. Also, you can comment, you can share, um, you can subscribe to this channel. And if you uh, really want to help uh, and support Himalayan Art Resources and the work we do, then you can become a member of uh, HAR on Patreon. And uh, on Patreon, we have uh, longer videos. We have unpublished essays, unpublished images, uh, and we just have more information about different subjects.